Hi, welcome to Feel Korean TV Math Corner. In this video, I will show to you how to multiply simple fractions and mixed numbers. Okay, let's solve this problem to show the steps in multiplying mixed numbers and fractions. To multiply this, we need to follow the steps in multiplying fraction and mixed number. First, Change the mixed number into improper fraction. Second, multiply the numerators. Third, multiply the denominators. Fourth, express the answer in lowest term. Fifth, use cancellation before multiplying if possible. Okay, let's answer now. Let's change 1 and 4 fifths into improper fraction. We will multiply the denominator 5 and the whole number 1 and then we will add the numerator 4 so 5 times 1 equals 5 plus 4 equals 9 then copy the denominator 5 so the improper fraction of 1 and 4 fifths is 9 fifths okay write the multiplier 3 sixths so the next step is to multiply the numerators and multiply also the denominators. Okay, let's multiply the numerators. 9 times 3 equals 27. And multiply the denominators. 5 times 6 equals 30. The answer is 27 30 yes. But we can reduce this fraction to the lowest term. Because the numerator and the denominator have other common factor aside from 1. So we need to divide them by their GCF. The GCF of 27 and 30 is 3. So we need to divide them. 27 divided by 3, the answer is 9. And 30 divided by 3 equals 10. Okay, the final answer is 9 tenths. Okay, for the second problem, we will use cancellation before multiplying. So, let's answer 5 twelfths times 4 and 2 fifths. Okay, unang gagawin natin ay i-change natin itong 4 and 2 fifths sa improper fraction. So, multiply natin yung denominator na 5 at whole number na 4. At ia-add yung numerator na 2. 5 times 4 equals 20 plus 2 equals 22. So, itong 22 ang magiging bagong numerator natin. And then, kukopyain lang natin yung denominator na 5. Okay, ang 4 and 2 fifths ay naging 22 fifths. Okay, ang susunod na gagawin ay times natin yung dalawang numerators. Ganun din, multiply din natin yung denominators. Pero, pwede natin gamitin yung cancellation method bago mag-multiply para mapababa natin yung number o yung fraction para mas madali natin makuha yung answer. Sa paggamit ng cancellation method, titingnan natin yung numerator ng multiplicand at denominator ng multiplier. Kung meron pa silang common factor maliban sa 1, ay kailangan natin silang i-divide sa kanilang GCF. Okay, so yung GCF ng 5 at 5 ay 5 din. Kaya, i-divide natin sila sa 5. Okay, so ikakancel natin sila, then i-divide. 5 divided by 5 equals 1. Ang gawin din natin sa denominator, 5 divided by 5 equals 1. Okay, so ganun din ang gagawin natin sa denominator ng multiplicand at numerator ng multiplier. I-divide natin sila sa kanilang GCF na 2. Okay, 12 divided by 2, the answer is 6. And 22 divided by 2 is 11. Okay, tapos na tayong gumamit ng cancellation method. Kaya, mas mababa na ngayon yung fractions na multiply natin. Mas madali tayong makakapag-multiply. Okay. So, yung susunod natin gagawin ay multiply na natin yung numerators at multiply din natin yung 
denominators. Okay? Times na natin yung dalawang numerators. 1 times 11 equals 11. And then, i-times din natin yung denominators. 6 times 1 equals 6. The answer is 11 sixths. Improper fraction ito. Mataas yung numerator na 11 kaysa sa denominator na 6. So, kailangan nating i-simplify. I-divide natin yung numerator na 11 sa denominator na 6. Kapag i-divide natin yung 11 sa 6, yung answer ay 1. At ang remainder o yung sobra ay 5. Kaya yung 11 sixths ay magiging 1 and 5 sixths. Ang quotient na 1 ang magiging whole number. At ang remainder na 5 ang magiging numerator. At yung denominator na 6 ay yun pa rin ang denominator. So the final answer is 1 and 5 sixths. I hope you learned in this video. See you next time. God bless.